Hey everyone on YouTube, today's video will be about repairing the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. As you can see, the screen has been completely shattered, both the touch digitizer and the primary video display screen. The primary video display screen only displays this half of the screen. Also, as you can see, it's completely popped open and is in need of replacement of a battery. Um, All together, parts for this, for those three components, is going to run about $60, US dollars. So, uh, as you can see also, this is glass, at least I've cut myself on already once while I waited for parts. Just, I was taking it apart to see if there was anything else that needed to replace at the time, and that's how I learned about the screen after I powered it up. It's like, no, no, I don't want to work. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's get started, shall we? So, first thing is first, I'll be putting my gloves on, and then uh, we will start this assembly. I'll be completely removing every component so that I may check them over. This was knocked off uh, the top of a bridge. That's why it's got so much damage. And we'll see if we can repair it. So, let's go ahead and get started on this assembly. By the way, this will be time-lapsed. As you all just saw, this is the, I got the screens and stuff out, they're all glued in, so I suggest if you go to do the screen replacement yourself, use a heat gun to melt the adhesive, because now I'm going to have to go back over this with rubbing alcohol and stuff, clean up any glass shards, as you can see I got plenty here, and then uh, after that, see if there's any bins in, bins in this, which there are a few, fix those up. And then, uh, get started on putting the new equipment in. Uh, I will post a link in the description on where I got the parts for this repair. Um, but as far as I can see, that's really all there is. So I'm going to pause the camera while I go get the cleaning material and, uh, clean the glass off my workstation. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all in a few minutes. Alrighty people, so now we're going to go ahead and get the new screen in here. By the way, this is off level because of how my damn thing is, but once I get the new screens and stuff in, they will help keep it level and flat. So, let's get started. This is the new touch digitizer. The new battery. And finally, the brand new screen. Make sure I'm getting this. Okay. So, first things first. We're going to go ahead and get the screen in there. And it is a perfect fit. Mm. 
Now, the reason I'm not using the glue yet is I want to make sure this goes in perfectly. These are aftermarket parts. So, now that I know it's in there perfectly, I'm going to take this small thing off here. Without damaging the ribbon cable. That's to help with, I believe, shipping. And then we're going to very carefully set it over here. This came with brand new 3M adhesive strips. Which, just so you know, I already put some new ones on there for my own stock. These are not... The ones this seems to have come with are not actually meant for this model. Because as you can see... There is no cuts or pre-cuts or anything on that. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this in here. Hi, please pull the battery and reconnect in order for the touch function to work. Lay, get in there. Now that that's in there, we're going to work on getting the brand new touch component in there. However, first things first, new set of gloves. I don't want to accidentally get fingerprints on the screen. The reason I'm using a new set of gloves is the old ones were contaminated with tiny glass shards. As you can see, it's got the ribbon cable here. So what we're going to do is pick this up. Well, first we're going to actually go ahead and get this adhesive off here. And then we're going to very carefully slot the ribbon cable through the hole. Very carefully. Wait. That's why you gotta be careful. The ribbon cable came back out. Very carefully align everything. Then press down on it. This way, the new adhesive will tack on. We'll get a nice firm hold and everything will be properly bent back to normal because the glue will hold everything together. As you can see, there's the two connectors. We're going to let this glue dry for a bit and then uh, we will continue on. I prefer to leave it like this. Okay, it has been about one hour, so the glue should be nice and strong now. So, I'm going to go ahead and continue reassembling. The next step will be the logic board. Um, as you saw, I had a little bit of issue getting it out. I think that's mainly due to the clips they use on this. And as you saw, it just weeps. Always pay attention to ribbon cable, people. As you can see, I almost broke one just now. However, these are a lot more durable than they look. Just by doing that, because it's already under there, it's really, really thin, so it, it did not break. In which case, if it would have broke, I would be paying for this out of my own pocket for that repair. The good news is, that's nothing but the uh, speaker port, which I actually have a few of those laying around. 
So first things first, go ahead and get that up. And then while you're in there, make sure one, two, three, there are no more ribbon cables. So you can go ahead and start getting this back on. As you can see, it is on now perfectly flush. So go ahead and put the camera back in. Go ahead and get your new connectors all hooked up. Just so you know, do not ever try to force these down. These are delicate in that if you try to force it, you can break them. But beyond that, it's a little harder break them than you would think. That's on. And that's on. Next step will be to go ahead and put the battery in and then do a first time boot, see if it powers up. This is the new battery. Uh, slightly higher capacity than the previous one. So we're going to go ahead and put this in right here. And as you can see, it slots in right here. However, sometimes the best way to get it in is to lift it up. And then do that. And then lay it down. As you can see, it's mostly reassembled. What we're going to do now is try to power it up. Oh, let's see... So, ba, 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 da, the top one is power. And as you can see, we're powering up. Uh, while that's powering up, I'm going to go ahead and finish reassembling this. There is two screws here and one there that we got to put back in. So, first one is this. One thing I will say I like about the Tab A, this particular model, is it has this little shield for your power port. Oh... This basically stops it from breaking. It acts as a reinforcement, I would say. I don't see that on many different models. This is actually the first one I've seen this on. Come on. There we go. As you can see, these are also really small and hard to get in the right slot screws. There we go. Like I said, that's to reinforce the charger port. At least that's what it looks like to me. However, I wish people would do this more often. Um, so, next screw will be the one up here. Which is a lot bigger head. But still an itty bitty little slot for your screwdriver.
we're going to turn it like this just to get an easier time at gripping it come on there we go uh, I might be a professional at this but it would help if I had a new screwdriver set Mine, unfortunately, is missing a few key pieces. There we go. Make sure we're not missing anything. We got the two screws right here. My guess is those are speakers. We have all of our connectors hooked up. Now we do. And then, let's see. This is why you always double check your work. And we're good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and put this final piece on. Which is a lot harder than it looks. And then we're going to take this cover off, and as you can see, it all works out. Yeah, I know I'm offline. We are now going to test the unit. Well, first we're going to wait for my hands to re-moisturize because I can't do anything right now. Mainly because my hands are all screwed up. I've always had issues with these buttons. Let's see. There we go. Now let's see. Make sure the camera works. And it works. So the swipe works. That works. Trying to go back to Chrome. Don't care, go away. Open up a new tab. While we're at it, let's get this little black thing removed so it's got the nice Samsung logo. So, as we notice, the upper half doesn't work. Either that or I'm doing something wrong. Hold on. So, after a few minutes of troubleshooting, aka his tablet stabbing me and then going into timeout, I managed to finish fixing it. The top half now works. Ouch to my freaking hand. Oi. Ugh. And, uh, as you can see, while well, I don't have it connected to my internet, the top half is now working. I, uh, had to pop the case back apart 
and reseat the ribbon connector for the touchscreen. I don't know what happened there. Beyond that, it may not have laid right when I pressed down and caused a bridge somewhere. Or s I can't even really tell because of how small it is. I just know that taking it off and resetting it, and then testing it before I put the back on, which I suggest you test it before putting it back together all the way, you'll stop yourself from getting cut, because I use a knife to pop these open. Uh, it will allow you to properly fix it. Now, I ran into an issue where this button does not work. So, I will talk to him. Uh, I've always run into issues where whenever these break, for some odd reason, this button right here breaks. It could be something as simple as, well, just the shock from it from where it broke because of how small the components inside are to something being misaligned. I have realigned everything three times to try and get this button to work. It won't work. Um, a replacement button is... Oh, go to my seller site that I used to buy the parts. Home key button, it will run about eight bucks. I'm going to talk to him, see if he wants to replace it or what. Simply put, you can do that. Hold it down, then press it, and it'll take you back to your home screen. So, like I said, I'm going to talk to him. See what he wants to do. Other than that, it's fixed. The screens have been replaced. Everything is working. Even the charge report's working. But, uh, yeah. He asked me to make a video on this repair, which is what I did, which is what I'm doing. Uh, make sure I tighten that up right. But, uh, beyond that, as far as I can tell, the whole thing is now working. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. I will let you all know what he decides uh, on another video. If he wants me to replace the home button, I will, but I'm going to ask. Well, I'm not going to even ask. I just amuse myself by thinking I'll ask for hazard pay next time because I keep cutting myself up when I pop it apart. Oi, anyways, that's all there is to it.